Well, this is a pretty sad video to make. Marcus Mewchen, aka Count Dankula, has been convicted of a thought crime in Scotland, in the UK, in 2018, and uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, you need to send letters to your MPs, of course, let them know this is not a country we want to be a part of, and we should steer very quickly away from this future. Having done so, I uh, received a reply from my local MP. James Frith, a Labour MP for Bury North. I am not a Labour voter. I made this clear to him that it was very important and that was why I was contacting him. And I received a reply, credit to him. The reply is as follows. Hello. Thank you for writing to me to express your concern about free speech and the case of Marcus Meachin. I defend the right to freedom of speech but believe with that freedom come certain responsibilities. Fair enough, but we're entering dangerous territory, right? The judgment that the court has made will have considered this balance. It didn't. Given the content of the post and the message, I am not surprised by the judgment. I am surprised. This is terrible, right? It, it was a joke meant to annoy his partner, which worked fantastically, uh, and context and intent was ignored entirely within the courts. Uh, essentially, from what I can understand, he said it was a joke to annoy my, par my partner, uh, and I have nothing against the Jews, of course. It was an anti-Nazi video, and the court has said, you are wrong. That is not what is inside your head. You are an anti-Semite. And that's what he's been convicted of. It's just fantastic. I love my country. We're the greatest in the universe, surely. Let's continue. The information I have on it, which is incorrect, James. You have incorrect information. You are wrong. I find grossly offensive. Nobody cares how anyone else feels. If you don't like a joke, if words offend you, you can remove yourself from their presence. Nobody had to click on the video. It was for his partner. It blew up because it was funny and people clicked on it. D you should have a right to be offensive. It's pretty obvious. Uh, and the message was likely deemed as incitement to violence or hate crime. It doesn't matter what it was deemed because that's incorrect. It was not an incitement to violence or hate crime. It was a tiny pug doing tricks. It was a pug getting excited at going out for a walk. That's what the pug understood. When Count Dankula says, do you want to gas the Jews? The dog gets excited because he gets to go outside or eat some treats or whatever it was. If you've owned a dog, you understand. You can, t you can teach them any English you want. They don't understand the meaning of the words. They understand they're going to get some treats. Ugh. I do not share your view that this is just a free speech issue. You're incorrect. That it is entirely a free speech issue. It's not an anti-Semitic video, it's an anti-Nazi video. And if it was an anti-Semitic video, I would still defend it. Because sunlight is the best disinfectant. If you say something stupid, you should be told that you're saying something stupid. If you're not allowed to say something stupid, it's going to stay in your head and fester. You're never going to know that it's stupid. And you're going to carry on being stupid. Until it explodes. <sighs> Set aside matters of taste or opinion, and on both grounds I find this disgustingly bad taste and desperately stupid. See, this is, again, James acting, uh, forming an opinion upon false information. He said, well, the automated reply that I got in initially says he gets hundreds of messages a day, which, fair enough, you may or may not, whatever, you've got to have a team to manage this for you, that means also your team is going to have said something along the lines of this man in Scotland made an anti-Semitic video and put it on YouTube and now he's been convicted of hate speech. And James is going to have thought to himself, that's fine. How terrible it is to be anti-Semitic. And it is terrible to be anti-Semitic. Let's make that clear. It's terrible to hate anyone for anything that they weren't in control of. That's stupid. It's, it's stupid to hate an entire class of people for any reason, right? You have to meet each person individually to judge them and base your hatred on something. 
it's fine to hate people, you just have to have a proper reason for it. Uh, but again, that's entirely false. Your underlings are giving you false information, James, and you should <laughs> you should bring them up on that. You're, you're not doing your job, Mr. Underling. You are an idiot. Ah, right, not just offensive. Uh, the man needs educating on the true horrors of the Holocaust. So, Count Dankula, you need educating on the true horrors of the, horror of the Holocaust, I'm sure. You are entirely ignorant of this. You've no idea what it's like to lose relatives to this sort of thing or be judged based on who you are as opposed to uh, what you are. Sorry, the other way around. What you are as opposed to who you are. You no idea what it's like to live under fascism, etc. I'm sure. I'm sure you are entirely blind to these things. Ridiculous. Clearly, again, James has no idea what he's talking about. Likely because his underlings haven't done their research or have preformed opinions, because they work for labour. Not any fault of James himself, besides having bad people working for him. <sighs> and here we are. The smoking gun. Anti-Semitism like this is a racist and hateful crime and must not be tolerated. Okay, I again disagree that anti-Semitism should be a crime. Because if you just say something like, I don't like Jews, Jews are bad. You're a fucking idiot. No one should like you. But you should be allowed to say that. Because it puts a mark on your back, right? It, it puts a target on your back to, that says, uh, in, in a post in that says in giant letters, educate me, right? I am an idiot. Which is, we need, we need markers like that. What if someone is a horrible person and you don't know? <laughs> that's worthless. But anyway, that's uh, the least important part of the sentence. The most important part is anti-Semitism like this. It was not an anti-Semitic video. He says at the beginning that his girlfriend has a pug which she thinks is the cutest thing in the world and he's going to turn it into the least cute thing he can think of. A Nazi. That's not anti-Semitism. That's anti-Nazi. Which again, should be allowed. That's fine. Say bad things about the Nazis. If you're wrong and stupid, people will educate you on it. I'm sure there were some fine Nazis. <laughs> I'm sure they were just following orders. But the vast majority, let's be fair, were not that fine. Oh, where even was I? Anti-Semitism like this. He, he even says at the end of the video, after making his jokes, where he's turned his dog into something which responds positively to the commands Gas the Jews and Zieg Heil, which is ridiculous. He even says at the end, I'm not a racist or anything, I believe. Uh, I just really wanted to piss her off. If you've ever been in a relationship, a healthy relationship, you understand that exact feeling. I'm going to do this ridiculous thing, which is going to annoy my girlfriend or boyfriend, because it's funny. Everybody's done that. That's part of being in a relationship. The fun times, right? Ugh. So and that's what the courts ignored. Context and intent. They said to him, you did not make a joke to annoy your girlfriend. This was actually a call to action against Jews. Something similar to that. So yeah, ridiculous. I'm sorry we do not agree on this issue. From here on, I don't think it's very important. I'm sorry we do not agree on this issue, but I do thank you for taking the time to write to me and express your views. I express my views um, by saying this is the second letter I've ever written to an MP, and that is to show how important this is to me, but uh, whatever. Although we may not agree in this instance, because you're misinformed, James, I always appreciate hearing from the constituents and discussing issues of concern. Best wishes, James. Okay, so, James has bad people working for him. In the best case, I like to think the best of people, this is the best I can think of it. James has got bad people working for him. That is his fault. Um we do not agree on the issue that's true but only if you look at a different meaning of the sentence we do not agree on the issue so he is saying that to mean this is the issue we do not agree on that and I am saying uh, 
you think this is the issue and I think this is the issue and that's what we disagree on because again he is misinformed <sighs> but so let's engage in some hyperbole because why not Labour endorses conviction for thought crimes we already knew that I guess but here it is in, in the flesh <laughs> terrible so anyway Let's put a name to this. Uh, what's up? I'm Adam Barnes. I live in Bury. This is uh, this is a self doxing, I guess. It's important because otherwise people will say, "How dare you do this?" Without putting a face and a name to your words, how you don't stand by them. I'm a very, uh, very vast proponent of um, that words and actions matter more than the person behind them. If someone's saying something that's correct, then that thing is correct. It doesn't matter who they are. But, to assuage people, here I am, here's me, this fucking idiot. Uh, if I go to jail, it's going to be for thought crimes like this. And they're, making, they're making a martyr of him as well, which is ridiculous. Everyone who is anti-Semitic has got huge ammunition now, because they're like, look, the state is oppressing us. And they are. Kind of. Which is, uh, the entire thing's stupid. Everyone in the UK should be exceedingly worried for their own freedom of speech, which we don't have, obviously. But we have even less of it than we had before. And emigration is indeed something which you should be thinking of. Sadly, because it's an okay country besides that. Whatever. Anyway, I've replied to him, pointing out basically everything I did in this video, making a sharper point on the fact that it was an anti-Nazi video, because if we're going to be attacking people for their views, at least attack them for the correct views. Ugh. Rip. Rip Count Angular. Rip memes. Rip jokes. Rip the country. Britain, once great. <laughs> 